Auburn Hills, Michigan, one of the fastest growing suburban cities in Southeast Michigan. It's Michigan's global address, a distinguished leader with a revitalized downtown and a welcoming city complex. Impressive to say the least. I suggest you stick around so I can tell you some cool stuff to do in Auburn Hills, Michigan. What's going on everyone, Andrew McManaman here with Living in Michigan, the one-stop shop for breaking down the great state of Michigan. I have received so many texts, calls, and emails from people wanting to make the move to Michigan, so let this be your resource to do the same. If you don't know anything about the 16.68 square miles we like to call Auburn Hills, that's home to over 25,000 people, get your notepad ready because I'm going to share some awesome things you can do in this Southeast Michigan powerhouse. For starters, for the people that are familiar with Auburn Hills, the first thing that comes to mind is Great Lakes Crossing Outlets. This is one of Metro Detroit's top tourist destinations. This behemoth of a complex houses about 185 shops, a thousand seat food court, and a 25 screen movie theater. People literally stay at the nearest hotel so their credit card in them can have a much needed spendcation, if you know what I mean. They even offer discounts to people who travel over 50 miles for guest service booths. If Disney World isn't in the budget for this year's vacation, that's no problem because you can spend time at the largest aquarium in Michigan called Sea Life, or maybe a visit to Legoland, Peppa Pig World of Play, the Rainforest Cafe, or to Round One Bowling and Amusement. There's enough to do for any age group, so allocating an afternoon may not be enough for you. There's only about 1.35 million square feet of total retail floor area, so bring the right shoes because you'll be walking almost as many steps as the amount of money you're about to spend. I say, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. I promise the city of Auburn Hills didn't pay me to be their hype man. I've just been there enough times to speak for the whole city when I say, this is a destination that needs to be programmed into your GPS ASAP. Next item on your to-do list is Top Golf. I know what you're thinking, you're not much of a golfer, and you and me both. Here's a little video of how bad my swing is. I play hockey and this hands together thing wasn't really my style. What I'm saying is, you don't have to be good at it. I, for one, am most certainly not. It's taking advantage of the environment, hanging out with your friends and family, getting some food and drinks, all while embarrassing yourself in the process. <laughs> Each lane has a booth with adjustable heat, and you are waiting on while you happy Gilmore that ball to the fence. If you haven't tried it out, get a few friends or family members together and you'll have more fun than you think. I know what you're thinking, and I agree. Let's give your wallet a little break. Not everything in Auburn Hills will have you taking out a second mortgage on your home, I promise. That's why you need to pack an awesome lunch and head over to Riverside Park, which offers a great picnic shelter, barbecue facilities, a canoe launch, and some play equipment as you enjoy the riverfront view. And if it makes you want to go camping somewhere, head on over to Hawkwoods Park and Campground to enjoy their 80 acre piece of land with amazing nature trails, camping cabins, and boardwalks. Of course, on this list, I have to include a few food and beverage shops you need to visit. A place where nearly everything comes from Michigan-based small business, the Michigan By the Bottle Tasting Room. If you're a wine connoisseur, this place is for you. A full wine menu with snacks that will have you sampling for hours. Also has numerous events open to the public that you should heavily consider. One of the best restaurants in Auburn Hills would have to be Four Corners Restaurant. This straightforward small town diner atmosphere won't break the bank and will satisfy your breakfast needs to say the least. Another restaurant to make a visit to is the Red Ox Tavern. It's more of an upscale bar with reasonable prices that serves pasta, pizza, salads, burgers, steaks, seafood, and paninis. The menu is too big to only go there once. Last on the list is the Meadowbrook Theater. If you're a fan of quality Broadway productions brought to you from the one and only Oakland University campus, you'll be front and center to experience the great community in Southeast Michigan. There are shows scheduled throughout the middle of 2022, so visit MB 
theater.com to get your tickets. If you've taken some time in the Auburn Hills area, what was your favorite part about your trip? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're continuing to enjoy my videos about living in Michigan, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell so you are notified every time I come out with a new video. If there's an area you want me to cover, throw a location in the comments and I'll get it in the works. Stay tuned for the next one.